Andrew, tell us what we need to know about this gentleman named Constantine uh, Konstantin, uh, Konstantin Kilimnik. Yes, thank you. <laughs> he held down the Davis Manafort International Office in Kiev in the Ukraine and had been a longtime associate of both Paul Manafort and his uh, indicted colleague Rick Gates, who pleaded guilty to charges earlier this year and is cooperating with the Mueller probe. He's cooperating with the Mueller probe now, but we know that in the past, Paul Manafort has called him his Russian brain, and he was kind of his go-to person on all things Russia-Ukraine. Do we expect that relations between Paul Manafort and uh, Kilimnik have soured recently? Well, it's not Kilimnik that um, pleaded guilty. It's Rick Gates. Kilimnik uh, became instrumental in something that we learned about earlier this week in another uh, Mueller court filing. And that's that back in February, after the first revised indictment was filed against Paul Manafort, uh, apparently he and Kalimnik reached out to some of their PR firm people with whom they had worked previously to put a good Western-looking face on the Ukrainian government of Viktor Yanukovych. And at least in the account of one of those people, tried to persuade them to tell a story that would have undercut charges that Paul Manafort was Ill illegally lobbying for the Yanukovych government here in the United States. So we're basically talking about witness tampering here. I mean, it's kind of mind-boggling why Paul Manafort would use this person at such a time, particularly when he's already being under, uh, put under investigation by, uh, by Robert Mueller. It's kind of mind-boggling. It did come as a little bit of a surprise to us. Robert uh, Mueller uh, seems to have his hands on a lot of levers. Some of this information that uh, was obtained was messages sent by Manafort to these individuals identified in the papers as D1 and D2 through encrypted messaging systems that apparently got backed up to Manafort's iCloud account. And now Mueller has them. And papers are due from the Manafort defense sometime today to explain or account for what uh, team... Mueller is calling witness tampering. There's a hearing next Friday here in federal court in Washington, and there is at least the remote possibility that Paul Manafort, who's on house arrest now on a $10 million bail, could have even that limited freedom revoked and wind up locked up pretrial. Yeah, I mean, they've got him with two GPS ankle bracelets at this stage, and uh, yeah. still he manages to uh, allegedly tamper with the witnesses.